If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use Tablemon code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to the Worlds 2020 where we are going to be moving on to the DDG secret deck for Latin America International Championship. I guess it was actually a secret, uh, no one saw this coming really. Um, it, ended, it did not end up dominating quite as much as they have in the previous years, um, but still there's a lot of merit to be had for this deck, which I believe came from Grant Manley, the original idea, so big props to him. We have Nagmetal Gosslord and Ultra Beast, which is very important. 280 HP, which is also very important because it's out of range of some um, cool attacks. More importantly, like Reshi Crumbs, right? Um, it does have the ability Violent Appetite, where you may discard Pokemon from your hand and if you do, you heal 60 damage. Jet Pierce does 180 damage for three energies, which is very solid. And then Chaotic Order GX. Um, you turn over all your five cards and you have an extra Psychic and an extra Darkness. So the same cost as Jet Pierce, you actually get to draw two of those prizes. So the game plan against tag team decks in general is going to be to knock one of them out whilst holding a Beast Springer. That way um, you get an extra prize card. So four after you knock them out and then all you need to do is GX for game. So how are we going to bar up the Magnetal Guzzler? Well, we're going to use Miss Magius, this mysterious message, to sacrifice it, let our opponent draw two prizes, activate B-String on our very first turn of the game whilst drawing a bunch of cards, and then powering up through B-String to be able to attack since the very first turn. Now, we do have Tackles, we have Cynthia Caitlins, we have Builds Analysis, we have Surge's Strategy because we are going to be losing um, on the losing end in terms of prizes quite a few times. But the most important thing is finding those Toss Stones on turn 1 especially. That's why we have 4 of them, we have Acrobikes, we have Bills, we have Order Pants as well. We have Treasures to search for Mischievous, so a lot of utility overall. We do have the Beast Energy, which I'm not a super big fan. I feel like playing more basic energy is just better. But the extra damage output can sometimes come in handy. And we have the Card and Void to bypass Keldeo. So the best way to showcase the deck is definitely to play with it. So let's jump into the ladder and see what we can do. And then, you know, thank you so much for watching the videos. You are the best for watching them. <laughs> thank you so much for the kind words. And hello, Emerald. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I reserve you believe Trainer Chip had the first idea with the deck, but you could be wrong. I mean, Trainer Chip definitely made a video like right before. I don't know if he talked with Grant or not. Um, like I meant Grant gave like gave the idea to TDG. Not necessarily that he was the first person in the whole world to come up with the concept, no. Um, like the concept was there already with um, Boswell for a most attack team, right? And it had been tried out before. It just, um, it didn't see actual tournament play or success until LAIC. And then in the end, like, honestly the game is like, it's really hard to say, oh, this group came up with this or something like that because it's just um, there's a lot going on all the time right and um, okay there's a tangle I have no idea what we're up against so I'm gonna acro oh energies are so valuable that I'm gonna pass on the order pad and let's go bills for no mischievous on turn one okay definitely the order pad and it's definitely the B-string. Not happy about this though. Okay, we need a head flip right here, right now. There we go. All right, so that's guaranteed one Mistrius, which is good, All right? Which is definitely good. So then what I do is I Mysterious Message away this person, right, for the Mistrius. And I have this Magus already. So next turn, we 100% absolutely need to find 
should have checked the energies to see which one to attach. Um, next turn, 100%, we're going to use Mysterious Message. We're going to be using the, attaching the Beast Bringer. We're probably not going to be able to KO attack him here, uh, but we'll see. We shall see. <laughs> yeah, I know Grand Tests with Chip a lot, so yeah, maybe maybe they talked about the concept. I don't know. So we see Cynthia, Netball. Nothing too surprising. And wait, what? Okay, so they switch out my hold on. That's completely okay. So we're definitely evolving. We're definitely doing this. I'm definitely attaching here. I mean, what are my chances of pulling this off? Not super high. Not super high, right? I'll just put them, it's fine. Hopefully next turn I can pull it off. So here my opponent have a price card. Nope, not quite. Not well, no, actually we still have a shot. Thanks to this beautiful Cynthia Caitlin. We need a mischievous or a mysterious treasure. Um I feel like my opponent is really not threatening me at all, so. Can I draw one of those three cards? I can! Awesome! That is absolutely fantastic, all right. Well, looks like my opponent is actually in a lot of trouble. Um, I'm actually not gonna draw anything with the mysterious <laughs> message. So I might as well just grab the double model Lana. So I have one dark and two psychics left in the deck. So the dark has to go here. Oh, you're kidding. I can't use the ability if I have more than seven cards. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. I actually did not know that. Well, I generally did not know that. Why wouldn't you be able to? You may draw cards, so I choose not to draw. Oh, if you drew any cards. Okay, I missed that part. All right, that makes sense. I missed that part. If I stamp, I still I have seven exactly, so I don't. I need to draw one card. So I should have just failed the tackle. I should have simply failed the tackle. And then I draw the dark energy and then I don't <laughs> get to attack. No, I'm kidding, but um, okay. So we, I learned that right now. If you draw any cards this way, this Pokemon is knocked out. So if you can't draw cards, you can't use the ability because you can't knock out the Mismedius without drawing cards. I did not know that, definitely did not know that. All right. All right, so let's just make sure I do this right now. <laughs> uh, I need to draw one card at least. So I treasure away the bills. One, two, three, and then I attach energy and then that's fine. I want to save the Malo Lanas. I feel like saving the Malo Lanas makes sense. I can grab the Miss Magus and then I can use the ability, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to mess up again. Um, all right, so then I attach the Psychic and now I get to draw one card. As long as it's not the dark energy, I'm fine. Perfect. So get your opponent, I mean, get your prize card opponent. Um, now I get to B-string, these two onto the active. And now we're set, right? Now we are set. We get to build. I have the reset stamp. I don't even know if I want to use that reset stamp. Sure, this. Great catcher just in case. Basically, it's going to take me five turns to win. I would have been up one already if I hadn't messed up last turn. But I generally, I generally didn't know. It's fine. So the Absol doesn't matter, the Jirachi is annoying, gives my opponent extra cards, so that's why I didn't bother with the reset stamp. I'm not super scared of Tangrowth. I don't even know what it does. And with double Malolan in hand, I should be able to out maneuver everything. Right, I should be able to outmaneuver everything. Well, 
We'll see. Tangrowth, Baby Buzz. Between the ability and Maldana, like, I should be fine, right? 30 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's active bonus retreat cost. So 150 damage every time, that's completely okay by me. I'm gonna go ahead and Maldana. Back the one reset stamp and one great catcher. I should do a sword and shield live stream. I will eventually, Alex. I will, like, I will probably end up doing um, sword and shield um, live streams for VGC. Yeah. I just like TTG is definitely my priority, right? But I will be doing rental teams and stuff like that. I will do that soon. I promise. VGC content will start. I mean. I've also thought about shiny hunting live or like trying to complete the Pokedex and stuff, but I'm not sure people want to tune into that. It's like, it's not something I tune into, so streaming something that I wouldn't watch, that feels not ideal. We'll see. I've never, I've also like, I've never finished, I've started playthroughs and I've never finished them. Cuber time, thank you so much for the follow. I've started playthroughs in the channel and I've never finished them, so that's really bad. <laughs> I should finish them, um, but I just, I never end up finishing them. So I don't want to say, oh yeah, I'm going to do a Nuzlocke. I could. I don't know if I'm doing like a, a single type Nuzlocke, but I don't know. I just, I get really bored with Pokemon games. Like their story is so bad. Um, I'm really bad at making like the voices. I don't know. Okay, so the Mismagus is useful to heal off the damage. I want to save <clears throat> the Malo Lan, I guess, until I get hit. 160, 70, 80, 90, plus 160. Yeah, I should be good here. So, ah, oh, actually, Chaotic Order seems better here. Because that leaves the Buzzle stuck in the active, only dealing 30 damage. Yeah, I think Chaotic Order is, is better here. And then I can grab this guy and this guy. Pretty good cards. I can use the ability to heal with the Mischievous, so we should be good. We should be good. Next turn I'll just attack and then I just win. Shiny Hunting and Raids are so much fun. Maybe do a Viewer Raid thing. Yeah, Viewer Raids. Like doing Raids with Viewers could be fun for sure. That could be fun. My voices are the best parts of the playthrough, yeah. But like, I don't know, I never finished that red, right? Even though I caught a shiny Bifrava, I never even bothered to finish it. All right. So there's the netball, there's the grass, there's the tangrowth, that's fine. So I still get hit for a lot of damage, but as long as both are ready to just attack next turn for the win, that's completely fine. We get reset stamped, no biggie. Order pad can get me tackle, which can get me the Malolana. I'm not getting KO'd next turn. Mr. Soda the Survivor, how do you remember that? Maybe I'll get back to that at some point in the future. <coughs> Maybe. Gosh, my green screen, why is it acting up so much? So we're just waiting to win this game. Interesting deck though. Definitely interesting deck, Tangrowth. With the double asshole. You already wrecked Jirachi based decks and then the Tangrowth is useful. You have the Rosa for the baby buzz. Not bad. All right, so let's see if we flip heads here. We do. 
which is fantastic because then we can tackle and then Malo Lana. And I'm not even getting KO'd next turn, which is... Like, even if I didn't heal, I'm not even getting KO'd in between turns, which is insane. But this is the game-winning card, for sure. This is 100% the game-winning card. Now we go Jet Pierce, get the KO. We will grab the Acrobike. The Surge is not useful at all. He was a GOAT. <laughs> I know, he was a GOAT. Mr. Soda was the GOAT. Alright. I don't know, maybe I could do like shiny hunting whilst playing TCG. Maybe that's what I could do actually. Like have the shiny hunting happen over there at the top. Maybe, I don't know. Like a sword and shield live cam. That way I could like, I could be grinding for money right now, or I could be breeding for VGC Pokemon. Fermosa and Buzzle, okay. I mean, what does this even do? 30-30? It's not a big deal. And then I just took a KO. So like this just delays the inevitable. Wow. <laughs> Still, though, that's only 30 damage. Plus the shrine. He's also getting hit from the shrine. I'm completely fine here. You love giving Pokemon silly nicknames. <laughs> Dread my yogurt. Shiny Hunting is so cool. Yeah, it doesn't evolve pro plays, right? Beast game. Oh. Well, I just retreat, right? Jet punch, okay. Yeah, beast game actually does it for my opponent. So I need to heal. Okay, let's acro. We'll keep this. Well, it doesn't really matter. I can get my little Lana back with this, which is fantastic. For next turn, like I can just manually retreat. So I draw three, no Pokemon to heal, so do I just retreat? Do I get knocked out? I don't, right? Well, if you have the beast energy, I do. Oh, I can't retreat because of these guys, so I actually need this. <laughs> oh, and I can't retreat. Okay, so I can't retreat then. I can't retreat because of the beast energy. The beast energy was a basic energy. I could have repaid the five retreat cost. All right, so I jet pierce. The beast energy ended up costing me here. Does he find the beast energy? If he finds the beast energy, he wins. Wow, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Spreads immediately. Needs the beast energy. I like this deck. I actually like that deck. Itania, I do have a lot of rare cards indeed. That's because Pokemon gave me a special account. That is because Pokemon gave me a special account. That's why I have all these really cool cards. Okay, so Buzzle's maximum damage is 30. I'm, yeah. How come? Because I create content, right? Because I create content. They they know my channel. I basically do free marketing for them. So in exchange, they gave me a marketing account to help support me. And my Siri just activated. Um, yeah, very few people have demo accounts, but that is why. Yeah, I bet, like imagine I have almost two thousand videos on my YouTube channel, which promote the game a lot of people have started playing the game because of my um because of my channel yeah there's other streamers that didn't get them i mean just because you're a streamer doesn't mean you're gonna get one it doesn't work that way yeah. they 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 gave them out to support and then 
something happened and they stopped giving them away. Um, so, like, that doesn't mean I shouldn't have one because other people don't have one. I've been doing constant videos for five years. I've been putting in a lot of work to this, so. All right, so we're up against baby blounds. We top deck, right? Maybe they sold their accounts? No, they did not sell their accounts. Uh, well, this is not great. We might just get donked here. Tangro Secret probably. I actually like the deck. I actually like the deck. But no, like, that's why you can see, like, my name. It's demo underscore tone because it's a demo account or a marketing account. Yeah. And it was given to me like four years ago, maybe more. Maybe it's it's probably well, table one, table one is four four and a half years old, so it was probably given to me like four years old. All right, so we were saved. <laughs> we don't get KO'd. Evolve, yeah, I, I mean, it's just, I wanted, like, if I'm playing to win, I feel like evolving with the dust stone was, with the dusk stone was not the way. Because now I'm guaranteed double. Um, now I'm guaranteed double mis mages, and now I'm gonna take a knockout right here. Because I saved the dust stone. So, like, if I'm playing to win, this is the right way to win. Because the chance of him knocking me out, they're not super high. Uh, sure. Well, I don't like losing the, this. Yeah, actually, B-string seems better. Does it? Maybe not. I'll keep the mystery list. Yeah, so then I'll treasure the search for another person. And then I'll go bench, duststone. Starbucks beats Clown. Birds, easy points. Does it though? Why does Starbucks? Oh, because of the new Ghost Lord, right? Because of the new Ghost Lord. Alright, so let's Mysterious Message number one. Remember, we need to draw at least one card. Alright, we need to draw at least, at least one card. So, as long as my opponent doesn't play something weird like Fione. I can't afford to do this, just to thin my hand. I don't intend to use the double Myth Magus, I just need to use one. But I'm just trying to draw more cards, right? Just trying to draw more cards. All right. So two prizes for my opponent. Thank you so much for the follow. Daft 12 Morris, um, doesn't matter which energy. I guess I'll grab two Psychic, because I already have Psychic in my hand. And then I can go order pad, tails, that's fine. And then I go jet pierce for the KO. So now the game will be over in four more turns, right? So if my opponent needs to beat me in three turns now. And the pitchy promotion signifies that we have another turn, which is great. What's the worst card in the game? That's really difficult to say, really, really difficult to say. Um, I'm not a collector, so I have very little knowledge on on that sort of thing. Um, I'd imagine like first edition Charizards or like first edition base set cards are probably some of their worst ones. Um, in terms of like sold to the general public and then really hard to find. Um, in terms of quantity, well, it's probably the World Championship cards, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Booksies, you you were at the event for say that's awesome. <laughs> hope you like the hope you like the the video. You mean in the online game? Pfft, I also don't know. Um, probably anything that was available only through gems, which are now discontinued. That's probably the rest card. I don't know though. I really don't. Man, if I, if we had reset stamped, we would have been in a fantastic position. All right, I mean, the game still comes down to does my opponent find what he needs or not, right? It literally comes down to that. So I don't think he plays Reset Stamp, 
So we can grab these two. And then I can go Cynthia Caitlyn. I'm gonna keep the Pokemon in my hand just in case he tries to like do some chip damage. Um, I can grab the Bills just to look, dig deeper for a potential reset stamp in one of those turns, or I still need a B string, right? To stabilize, which I did not get. So if I get knocked out next turn, I'm actually in trouble. If I get knocked out next turn, I am actually in trouble. Because then I don't have a backup attacker. So does that mean I GX here? Because it's harder for him to find a retreat and also power up this guy and also have the six energies. Whereas if I knock out this guy, then I save him from the retreating card. So this is a turn where I'm going to Chaotic Order GX. Uh, definitely grabbing the Reset Stamp and then definitely grabbing the energy, I'd say. Um, because that way, even if I whiff the bills, I don't rely on hitting B-String anymore. As long as the active survives this turn, I should be fine. So the game is over in three turns time. <laughs> Alex. Wow, Heat Factory. Yikes, that's... That's really tough. Alright, there's the Poke Gear. Welder. Yikes, I think we're getting KO'd. I think we're getting KO'd, and because we missed the B string, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Maybe not. If this was Jirachi, it would definitely be going down. Three fires, so one fire crystal and one fire flint does it. Well, there it is. There's Fire Flint, I mean, there's energy. Oh, wow, he splits the energy. That's great. Chooses to attack me, though. I don't particularly agree with that. Um, the 10 damage doesn't make a difference overall. 60 also, it would have, but I have my ability, so it's not that big a deal to us. Okay, so Violent Appetite. Okay, so I think we've stabilized. And this reset time should be pretty detrimental for my opponent. I don't know why you play the fire crystal there. Well, maybe to attach, but meh, doesn't seem great. So let's go ahead and build. I should have built before I attached. Immediately punished for it. <laughs> uh, sure. I mean, I'll power up anyways, but I definitely should have. Should have built beforehand. So do I just attach both energies? Yeah, this seems okay. All right, so if my opponent doesn't get a KO next turn, then that's gonna be the game. If he does, then I know I have my other reset stamp because it's not in my prize cards, clearly. I like the order pad. That's two 50% chances of finding the order pad versus a very small chance of finding the, I mean, the reset stamp versus a very small chance of finding the reset stamp with the Acrobike. So, if my opponent manages to get the KO, then I need to go reset stamp and KO again. And that hopefully should be enough. All right? Thinking about adding Flint to Mew Box, taking out Hearth to make it more sustainable, Sledgehammer. I mean, that's fair. Um, Hearth is also a counter stadium for Powder Plant, though, so it's not about just accessing fire energies. It's also important to to get um, to get the counter stadium going sometimes, and the discard as well. Uh, well, I guess Fire Flint also discards, so never mind that. But it's more about the extra stadium card. But um, because of Chaotic Swell, it definitely makes sense to maybe have a Flint, right, to bypass potential Chaotic Swells. Okay, so my opponent, despite the reset stamp. Apparently, we'll be able to get the knockout here. Mew 
Mutual and Mujax winning this weekend and next at the regionals? Maybe. Maybe. I do think it's the best deck. It's the most versatile deck, but it also has some clearing weaknesses. Do you think Chaotic Swell is better? Mm, as a stadium? No. Like in Mewtwo, Chaotic Swell doesn't make... Like, it makes sense to complete... Um, to protect from power plants, but in the end you want ways to discard and to find fires for your welder, so I don't think it's necessary. As long as you play a healthy enough stadium count, then that's fine. Alright, so it's all gonna be about the welder to one. I'm gonna tackle. There's nothing left. There's a the reset stamp, so I have 12 cards. I definitely think I order pad first. Tails. Tails. Alright. So please don't be bottom five. And you are bottom five. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm dead. Come on. I had such a high chance of finding the reset stamp. You're kidding. I had such a high chance of finding the reset stamp. Uh, well, I'm dead for sure. I am a hundred percent dead. Yeah, that's gonna be the game. The game comes down to me flipping those two tails and not finding that. So it's Jet Pierce. If he has it, he has it. If not, then. Yeah, we see it well played. Ugh. So maybe the Acrobike was better. I mean, double tails. On average, I find the recent stamp. I put my opponent down to one, and I'm fine. Do you think for Rainbow with Fire New Box is better than the one two of basic splits, Daniel Davis? Um, I mean, okay, it depends on. Like, are you playing Weakness Guard Energy? Are you playing Guzmahala? Right now, my Mew 3 list. Uh, which you can check out in my article tomorrow in Six Prizes. It has eight fires, two rainbows, three weakness card, and one psychic. You could play one rainbow, one water, one psychic. Um, but the the cool part about the basics is that even if you lose them early on, you can recover them with Turbo Strike. Or if your opponent plays a Radiant Forest, you can find them with um, you can find them with um, with that. Right, so it's it's more about that. Yeah, it's more about that. Two weakness and two giant heart. Two giant heart. I feel is a little slow, a little low. Three would be the ideal number. Um, overall, I feel like um, I do feel like uh, there's merit to both. Right, right now I feel like instead of four rainbow, two rainbows. One psychic, one water feels like a better middle ground to where you have the basics to potentially recover with turbo strike. Um, the damage counter can sometimes hurt you, can sometimes help you, and then you have the rainbows for the flexibility. So maybe I go somewhere along those lines. Yeah, three giant heart and two goose mahala. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so like a two one one split feels better than just going all out on rainbows. Yeah, because with two rainbows and one water, you essentially have almost as many, but you have recoverable water energy with two rose strength. Okay. And yep, we do, we do indeed lose because we don't get to reset stamp. The game came down to that. Double flip, 75% chance plus whatever chance the builds got. I had a... I would argue... I was looking at over half my deck, so I would argue I had... I don't know, close to a 90% chance of winning that game. Made the right decisions, didn't get rewarded for them, it happens. So that's a Gossler deck though, you saw how um, how it works. If you want to double Miss Magius, get those beast rings and get going. Not much else to say about it, that will be all for this deck. We are now going to be moving on to Queens, Charizard, so don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a second after this quick commercial break. <laughs> 